Shalom. <clears throat> Brother Kabbalah, back another GMS lesson. GMS, keep pushing. Before I go any further, let it give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only God Son. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth, according to the Bible, and Ruel. I know Shalom, one of the sincere Aki, and throughout the four points of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. And I know Shalom, one of the sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Not just hears of the word, but do it as well. You men, women, and children, I hope for you like Shalom. And, um, <clears throat> you know, not quite sure I'm going to this lesson, as always, but um, somewhere along the lines, uh, there's a recompense for not um, answering the phone call of your how about you shy for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, you Israelite foreigners, you Israelites, <clears throat> according to the seed of your father. All right, there's going to be a, a harsh judgment for you not answering the phone call of who the world alien calls God in Jesus Christ. Um, according to the Bible, and we're going to get into that, man. Uh, this is Proverbs 1, <clears throat> and I started. Uh, I want to start at 26, but. I'll start at 20. <clears throat> it says, Wisdom will cry without. She uttered her voice in the streets. The wisdom of what? The Bible. The wisdom of all ancient, to be honest with you. Okay. Going back to um, Sirach, the 39th chapter. It's been uttered in the streets. That's why you see us out there starting off with our head apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down out there reproving, rebuking, exhorting our people with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The true wisdom. It says, verse 21, She cried in the chief place of concourse and the opening of the gates and the city. She uttered her words saying, and that's where you see majority of the camps in the cities, all right, on the street corners. It says, how long, verse 22, Ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? Now, simplicity, when you go into it, is um, you know, your way of life. Matter of fact, let's look it up. P. Sim. P. L. L. I see that. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> simplicity all right it says the quality is the noun or condition of being eased to understand or do so it's, it's your quality of life your condition of life okay how long are you going to uh like it all right because we're slaves <laughs> all right we are not free contrary to proper belief all right, Baruch, the third chapter tells us that, but yet we are yet this day in our captivity. Okay. I mean, this is a boring kingdom, if you ask me. You get up, you work two, three jobs. You don't have any money. You don't have any, any type of substance to pass down to your children. All right. How long are you going to love that? And if you do, a lot of times you got to sell out. <laughs> but anyways, going back Proverbs 1 and um, 22 It says, how long will you, will you simple ones Will you love simplicity and the scorners of light And their scorning and fools hate knowledge How long? <laughs> Until the cities be destroyed <laughs> All right um, Verse 23 Turn you my reproof Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you I will make my words known unto you through who? Through, through the prophets. Okay? It says, because I have called, and ye have refused. This is what I want, 24. It says, because I have called, and ye have refused. How do you refuse the Lord? By not hearkening to his men. By not hearkening to the message that Yahweh Bashem Shai is uh, uh, putting out in the earth. It says, I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. Okay? Each and every week, 
Some of the head apostles and elders out there on the highways and byways. All right. Calling our people, calling. But they refuse. They walk by. All right. They mock, they scoff, they come up with their own vain thoughts, opinions, their own doctrine. And then they're not regarding the Lord. But it's going to be a recompense for that. It says, but ye have said not at all my counsel and with none of my reproof. That's right, because the counsel that our people seek is the counsel of Babylon the Great. The reproof they want is from is from Esau Edom. They don't want the reproof of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Because if so, they would take heed. They would take heed to the message. The message is repent. Stop idol worshiping. Turn back to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. With all meekness, all humbleness. Okay? Casting off that old man, that old woman. So the Lord can have mercy upon you in these latter days. It says, Proverbs 1 and 26, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Now, look, that, this, the, the, the Lord is saying this, man. All right? The Lord is saying he's going to mock. Let's get that definition of mock. What the hell? What the hell just happened? Okay. All right. It says to tease or laugh is a verb. It's an action. In a scornful or contemptuous manner. <laughs> All right, it says, um, yeah, so in a, in a tease or, or laugh at in a scornful, contemptuous manner. That's what the Lord's going to do. He's going to do it through his men. All right, it says, um, <clears throat> verse 26 again, Proverbs 126, I also laugh at your calamity. All right, it says, I will mock when your fear cometh. Because fear is going to come upon our people. It's going to come, man. It says, when your fear coming through what? Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30 and 4 to verse 7. It says, when your fear comes a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when the stress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. That's right. So it's gonna be that's gonna be the big payback for our people for not answering and taking heed to the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're set up to warn you. All right. This is this message is, is strictly coming from the heavens. Verse 29, for that they hated knowledge. They hated what? What is knowledge? What is knowledge? Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord. The fear. The fear. Of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yom Shai is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So only a fool is going to despise these words. And, it's, and a fool is a non believer. According to Proverbs 14, and they have done, matter of fact, let's get it. They have done horrible things. <clears throat> so if you don't believe in these words, these words, you're wicked. Psalms 14. Psalms 14, those Proverbs, Psalms 14. <clears throat> Psalms 14 and 1. The chief musician and Psalm of David. The fool have said in his heart, which is talking about your mind, there is no God. All right? That's what a fool says. It says, they are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Not one. Not one person. Who doesn't fear the Lord is good. So now you gotta start uh, 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 um, uh, um, analyzing yourself, man. Analyzing yourself. But damn, if I if I fear the Lord, <clears throat> you know, if I don't fear the Lord, then I'm a, I'm 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 a fool. I'm a non-believer. All right, it's not it's not just about love. It's about fear. And the ones of our people that don't fear in these latter days, <clears throat> it's going to be a payback for that, man. All right. Um, back in Proverbs 1 
and 28, it says, then shall they call upon me when they're catching a whole lot of hell. All right? When they when hell is, is, is um, chasing you Israelites through these uh, calamities, through these famines, through these uh, 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 destructions, these pestilence, these earthquakes, okay? The, the, you don't want to seek the Lord. It says, verse 28, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they should not find me. Right? Because the Lord going to make a famine of this word. All right, was that Amos eight and eleven? I believe it says my fact. My fact. Yep, Amos eight and eleven. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power that was in a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. See, those are gonna cause it have have something happen to where we're taken from off these streets and removed from the internet. All right. Back in Proverbs 1 and 29, for that they hated knowledge, which is fear in the Lord, and did not choose to fear the Lord. Right. Back in right, right up what I just said. All right. Going back to Proverbs 1 and 7. It said they were done of my, none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. You see, reproof is correction. And if you don't take heed to the correction, the Lord's going to laugh when you call upon him. He's going to mock when your fear cometh. But guess what the servant's going to be doing? I'm going to end off from this. Guess what those who serve the Lord are going to be doing? This is Job 5. <clears throat> and um, I started 19. It says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in the seventh there shall no evil touch them. Right, because upon that seventh trump, we're supposed to be up in the, the ships, man, where the world even called UFOs. All right? Looking down upon the destruction of those that chose not to fear the Lord. Verse 20, in famine, he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword, because the sword is coming. So is famine. It says, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Thee shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Right? For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. So for those that have feared the Lord, have served the Lord his way, all right, we're going to laugh when these things come to pass, man. All right? And we're going to be delivered. <laughs> delivered. All right? We're going to be delivered, man. So just something to, to, to ponder on and think about, Israel, about fearing the Lord. Shalom.